Hey there, I'm your host Lissoi, and in today's video, I'll be showing you how you can add your own custom character to the motion matching project. So we can go from this to this and also this. I also want to thank a good friend of mine for suggesting this video idea. You know who you are. And with that said, let's begin. The first thing that you want to do is you want to import your own character. So I already have this done, imported characters and Goblin Scout. So this is the character that I'll be using for today's video. So once we have that done, we want to go into content again and blueprints folder. And we want to right click on this ABP underscore sandbox character. So right click and go to retarget animations and you'll get a window pop up. Now in here, you want to select the target skeletal mesh window and you want to add your imported character. So if I search for goblin, we should have it there, skeletal mesh. With that, we can export retargeted assets and choose a folder of your choice. I'll go to my character and export. Now, once you have this here, it's a good idea to go into that folder and rename a few things. So for the first one, I'll do IK underscore goblin. And for the RTG auto generated, we'll do RTG underscore goblin. Uh, goblin, there we go. Let's open this RTG underscore goblin. And we can switch the auto generated source to IK underscore UEFN underscore mannequin. By doing this, we don't actually need this part, so we can get rid of it by deleting it. And that's that. Okay. So next, let's go to blueprints again. And this time we want to right click on the CBP underscore sandbox character and we'll create a child blueprint class. And let's just name it at the very end, goblin. Okay, and let's open this up. Now in here, we want to click on the mesh and search for visible. And we want the visibility to be off. And in optimization, now this is very important. Uh, by default, it says always stick pose. You want always stick pose and refresh bones. If you don't have this, uh, your animations won't update. So make sure to have this like that. And with that, let's compile that. Click on the mesh here, add, and we'll add a skeletal mesh. Now this mesh we can rename to our character mesh. And we can get rid of the visible in the search bar, compile that and select a mesh goblin. There we are. Okay. And for the animation class, we want to select the two, 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 third one down, generic retarget. Like so, let's compile that, save it. And next, let's go into the retargeted characters and open up the ABP underscore generic retarget. In here, we want to click on the IK retargeter underscore map, and we want to add a new element. So click plus, scroll down. And in here, we want to add our RTG underscore goblin or whatever your character is. And name it RTG underscore goblin or your character. Now, remember this name because we'll need it. So a good idea is just to copy that. Let's compile, save and exit this and back in our sandbox character. Let's click on the character mesh and search for something called a component tag. And in here, you want to add a new array element and paste in the exact name we just created. So RTG underscore Goblin. With that, we can compile and save and boom, our character is now working. So if we were to play the game and in the world settings, if you don't have this window, simply go to settings, click on world settings, and there you should. We want to click on the default pawn class and select our goblin character. Let's hit save and play the game. And boom, there we have it. Now with that, uh, you can also, if you wanted to, Let's switch it back to our sandbox character and open up our two. Where is this blueprints? Uh, nope. We want to open up the widgets and go to game animation widget. In here, we can copy the last character 
paste it in here like so. And we want to select our goblin character. There we are. Let's compile and save. We can exit this widget now. And if we were to play this game, we get this. But then if we go to our game animation widget, we can select our goblin and we have the same result. Cool. So next, I'll show you how you can import this character into your own project. Before we go and export our character, we need to create a new level for that character to be imported into. So let's go ahead and do that. OK, so I just created my level. I created a landscape and added some environment. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to add some plugins in order for this to work. So go to settings, go to plugins, and I already have mine added, but I'll put them down on the screen in alphabetical order. And once you have them added, let's save the project and head back into our motion matching project. Once you're back in the motion matching project, let's open up the content drawer and navigate to our character. So blueprints, we targeted characters, and we have it here. So right click on your character, go to asset actions and migrate. Now this will automatically migrate everything you need. So all you have to do is click OK and select your project. So we'll go to Unreal Projects and my level was called mm underscore cc underscore demo and go to content, this folder right here, select. Now I already have it done, so I don't need to do that. And I'll see you back in the other project. Once your character has been imported, open up your project and then go to settings, world settings. And in here in the game mode override, you can create your own game mode, of course, or we can select the render to texture underscore game mode. So select that. And if you don't have the character already selected, you can scroll down and find your character right there. So that said, let's save that and hit play. And this is the result we get. So I hope you enjoyed. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. And as always, happy developing.